What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars action figure mini review on the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 6 inch Purge Trooper GameStop exclusive. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so at GameStop, I just said it was a GameStop exclusive, but if you're trying to get your other Star Wars 6 inch Black series, you can do so at Billy Big Bad Toy Store. They are a proud sponsor of the Shardimus Prime YouTube channel. You can find all kinds of other figures over there as well as you can see on this nifty postcard right over there. So pretty cool stuff, man. I gotta give a big thanks to X Manny 80 and Justine for making this review possible. He actually found this out in the wild and then Justine is the one who shipped it over because man, he's been busy and everything working. So I really appreciate it. Awesome couple. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Now this is a pretty cool looking piece right over here. Um, this is one that I actually would like to have a couple more of but I am very lucky to have been able to buy just the one. Uh, but I wanted to mention on the packaging we do get some red added right there and usually we don't see color added to the images of the characters. So I think that's really cool. I do have the Jedi Fallen Order game. I'm just playing it just a little bit, bit by bit. Barely getting through it here and there. I just don't have all the time in the world. But anyway, on the back, the read-up says, Purge Stormtrooper, hand-picked from the Stormtrooper Legions for their aptitude and loyalty. Purge Troopers accompany Inquisitors on especially dangerous missions. These troopers receive additional training to make them a cohesive unit formidable, formidable, formidable against any Jedi threat. And then on the side, there's no number because it's an exclusive. And then not much more on the top. Or at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. All right, anyway, here's the figure. And wow, a uh, really cool looking piece. So I really like it a lot, just right off the bat. I am a sucker for the trooper figures, so that's why uh, I, I really wanted to get this one. I really think it looks dope. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, pretty much the same kind of accessories that we're used to seeing on these type of figures, on these, you know, like on the clone troopers and stuff. And let's get them out of the way right here so we could get a look at this huge blaster rifle right there. That is great looking. I really like that. Nice silver paint right there. And it's got like an off gray black color. It's kind of like right in between those two. So it's like a super dark gray. Or you could just call it black. But I'm seeing like a very dark gray color right here. Looks pretty dope, you know. As far as the molding goes, we've seen this many times before. Same thing with uh, the gun right over here in his hands, you know. It's still kind of like not, you know, pitch black. Kind of like dark gray color. As you can see, like... This is very much, you know, perfectly pitch black. This is just, you know, just not as dark. It's probably just the type of plastic that they used. And then looking at the head sculpt, or the helmet anyway, uh, I think this is all brand new right here. I don't remember seeing this on any other figure, so that's like the newest part of the whole figure. And how do you guys think it looks right here in the 4K, huh? I don't know. 4K is looking pretty good. I know, it's uh, not as sexy sounding as 4K, but hey, just want to be different Saint in Spanish, all right? Tenemos 4K. All right, here he goes, the back right there. And then we got some gray coming around the back. Me gusta 4K. All right, so anyway, when uh, you get the silver right there coming in the middle, looks very clean. I like those details. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here. Oh, there goes a light. But I want to see if I can zoom in here and get just a little bit closer, catch some more of those details. I'm doing a manual focus, so it just takes a little second. But that looks pretty good, man. Pretty happy with that. Keep the lighting up. I look how, or I really like how there's like kind of like a maroonish hue to the visor right there. So that's a little different. Very cool. You have the touches of red added to the helmet. Looks really good. He has his pauldron right over here on the side. Uh, could have been a little bit cleaner right there on that edge. You can see it kind of bleeds over. So not the absolute cleanest, but definitely not the worst. And I think that's the same pauldron that we've seen on the stormtroopers in the past. Nice touch of silver right there. Ooh, I like the red added to the very back. That looks cool. So a lot of Stormtrooper parts, probably. This looks like it could be brand new, though. Yeah. And then you can see that we have the uh, we have the Empire logo right there on the shoulder on that side. You can see it a lot more clearly on this side. So that's very cool. And some nice white deco. I'm liking that. A little touch of red right there. And then let's just get that out of the way so you can see the torso. Nice looking belt with the silver and everything. Then the skirt piece is very similar to what we've seen before with, you know, the Commander Fox figure. And you have these added little plastic bits right here on the inside. So that's cool. And then you can see the wrinkles and everything on the inside of the crotch pits right there. Not looking too bad. Crotch pit lines. And then nice clean white deco except for that little tiny little... <laughs> no, it's so, no, so good, but it's not that bad. 
yeah, a little thin right here on the edge, as that tends to happen sometimes. I'm gonna get a little further back here because I feel like it's getting a little bit too, uh, a little bit too nauseating. There we go, a little nice focus. So, yeah, now uh, we've seen these legs before, and we do get the peg holes at the bottom of the feet and his skirt. Ooh, hey, come on, behave, behave, portent purge trooper. All right, so I almost called him something else, right? Okay, so let's get on to the articulation segment because I mean we've seen the articulation on this so many times or on figures similar to this many times but just to be thorough you can move the head up just a little bit and down and it shifts forward and back just a little bit you get side to side motion and a tiny little bit of head pivoting shoulders move outward you can see this shoulder pad is going over right there so uh, tr tricky to do on this side because there's just so much stuff going on here so it is limited on the right side can move the shoulder down and it will rotate a full 360 you get a bicep swivel the double jointed elbows are weak they don't bend in more than that so yeah, at least you get 90 degrees and and then both wrists turn side to side. You get an up and down hinge on the left side, but you get a horizontal hinge on the right. You get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. Diaphragm pivoting, crunches forward, crunches back. Uh, no waist articulation. However, the hips move outward that much, and he will kick forward that much, and back a little bit, upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees, ankles don't move down, or if they move down, it's only the tiniest bit. They do move up a whole bunch, and you do get, I thought you had side to side motion here, but you don't. You just get the beautiful ankle pivot, which I can't be too sad about because I love my ankle pivot. All right, so let's get him into a neutral standing pose right here. I really like those pouches going around the belt. I think that looks really cool. Even though we've seen, well, I don't know, we're, we're going to do some comparisons in just a second. So getting them all set up right there. I don't want the legs too far apart or else the measurement is just invalid to me. <laughs> I have to try to get it in as much of a neutral stance as possible. Okay, so let's get that shit up right now. Okay, so where's my damn tape measure? Uh, here we go. Alright, so measuring out this Purge Trooper, you can see that he's standing just a little over six inches tall. A little more in focus like that. There we go. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Alright. And for a size comparison with Commander Fox, they don't have the same skirt piece. It's similar, but it is not the same. And the torso pieces are the same. It looks like the arms are the same, but yeah, this whole piece is actually different. Uh, same thing with the belt. I thought the belts were exact. Oh, the belts. No, no, no. The belts are different. Yeah, these little pieces right here are different. So yeah, new waist piece, new skirt. Woo. All right. So I thought they were a lot more similar than they actually were. And we have uh, the 6-inch Black Series Calestis, which I reviewed. Part of the wave, uh, the whole wave that he was included in not that long ago, so you could see size comparison right there. Okay, and then lastly, we have the second sister Inquisitor figure, which I think is awesome. Or maybe I never did review the Calestis. Oh, that was a Patreon exclusive. Hey, if you want to uh, contribute to the channel, no one has to pay for my videos, but if you want to contribute on the Patreon, uh, it goes a long way. Link in the description below if you want the uh, bonus exclusive content that was never really meant for the main channel. So get her standing up, fix this ankle right here. And yeah, those two look pretty good. That's pretty neat. So yeah, having just two more of these, you know, behind her, that would be really neat to have. So I think that'd be awesome. I'm really happy with this figure. I'm super grateful to be able to have it. I was actually almost ready to pick it up on eBay. So yeah, at the price point of around 22 bucks after tax and everything, uh, I played. I paid a little bit more, you know, for shipping and stuff, which I don't mind at all. I'm giving this a sud rating of I love it. So yes, I do love this figure. It is awesome looking. I really like it a lot. Again, I'm a sucker for the troopers. So yeah, I wanted the trooper figure, and no, I have it. Thank you so much, X Man Eighty and Justine. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you want to show some love, you can hit the like button if you liked this video. Hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And follow me over on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I will catch you guys later. Peace!